I would say for less than four months now. So uh, now we're going on. So I feel this. So uh, I want to quickly talk to you about uh, my journey as far as Goki is concerned and what is our plan to change the world. Uh, taking technology, taking uh, all the sensors around and working on a very, very different construct. And I'm going to make some statements here which might be completely contradicting some of the earlier speakers. <coughs> I know companies want you to make more hardware, companies want you to build uh, on development kits and so on. But I want to start by saying that IoT is not about hardware. Uh, do not waste your time on hardware. <laughs> Let us start with that statement. And the reason is uh, that IoT is now about building blocks. It's almost like Lego, where what you could do literally is, and I was talking about it, that go to Shenzhen, and in 30 days, 30 days, you can pick and choose various components, various devices, or uh, already there are so many different kits and SDKs to come up with a device. Don't forget that. There are companies which are launching various products in every possible category. And it's now about thinking about how do you integrate And hardware is going to get commoditized. Uh, there will be Apple playing at one end, there will be Google, there will be everybody else. So as Goki, when we started our journey, not a hardware company. So even though we do have a fitness bank, we give it away for free because this is not our product. This is not what we are selling. The second key thing is that we are talking about a completely new era of computing with IoT and what's happening with connected devices. I'm talking about the death of mobile apps as we know them. I think we are already getting excited. You know, a lot of people now have smartphones. People have started experiencing apps. And all I can tell you is that even five years later, uh, the next generation of apps are no longer going to be running on your phone. The car will be telling you something, the watch will be telling you something, will be telling you something. Your shirt will be automatically opening holes so that you are getting hot air is passing in and so on. So the question really is that the UI, the UX, and the entire place will change. So do not go into this whole thing of I am going to launch more apps to do this. And personal data is going to explode as we have never thought of in this world. We think that we have one, one terabyte of data and we think it's a lot. A human body can generate one terabyte of data every day. You really have sensors which are sensing all your physical parameters. And I'm talking about your biometric parameters. Forget about location. Sensors which we wear and which eventually will be uh, the data. And so we have a personal data today. We say a personal credit card and bank account. Personal data five years later will be here is the uh, entirety of the number of breaths I took for the last 65 years, or my heart rate, my resting heart rate for the last five years. Or Can do. I can you even Watson uh, while IBM is doing a lot of things, it still cannot do a lot of 
mean I want to run the marathon, we would have an expert who can do marathon running. You want to do trekking, we have an expert. You want to do weight loss, we have an expert. So the coaches get paired with experts depending on what your particular requirement is. And the last but not the least, the feel good factor. Remember I talked about the feel good factor, which comes from karma, which is donation. So as part of Goki, every time you walk, we reward karma points, which you donate to charity. And I'll talk a little bit about that. The idea was whether it was action, engagement, motivation, feel good factor, all of that is into seamless. Different 
than somebody who wants to do uh, long distance run. So that's all customers. Uh, folks, for other questions, uh, if Vishal, you are around, uh, I'm sure people can. Vishal, thank you very much. This is a very, I think you're taking.